Hey everyone, this is Android Cemetery here. Welcome back to part four of the Sci-Fi Cray tutorial series. In this lesson, we're gonna be importing our model into Substance Painter, and we're gonna start adding materials to our model. Okay, so right now we're in Substance Painter. We're gonna to go to File, New. For the template, we're gonna stick with PBR Metal Roughness. For the file, I'm gonna select my Sci-Fi Crate, the FBX export. For document resolution, I'm gonna stick with something like 248. For normal map, direct X is fine. I'm gonna leave all these and press okay. So now before I wanna apply any materials, I actually wanna bake some maps on it. So down here, where it says texture set settings, I wanna click bake mesh maps. So in common parameters, the output size, well, 2048. We don't have high poly mesh. We wanna use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. So click this, make sure that's on. I'm going to turn off IDs because we're not using any material IDs. We're going to keep all of these defaults. We might actually go to curvature and we want to turn off enable seams. So that way the UV seams won't be obvious in our curvature map. So we're going to turn it off. The rest are fine as default. I'm going to go back to common. These are all fine. Okay, so with anti-aliasing, we're going to turn it on to subsampling either two times two or four times four. It pretty much gives us a higher quality bake. It does take a lot longer for the baking process, but it does give us a much higher quality bake. So with all that, I'm gonna press bake default mesh maps. So this is gonna take a little while. I'm just gonna time-lapse the video until I'm finished. Feel free to pause the video if yours isn't finished yet, and then we can start up later. So despite not having a high poly mesh for baking, we still wanna always bake our low polys. So that way we can get all of these different maps so we can add this to our model during the render. Press okay. So with that done, we can now apply our materials. So I'm gonna delete this. We don't need this layer. I'm gonna add a folder. So right here, add folder. I'm gonna call it base crate. So I'm gonna go into my smart materials. So right here, I'm gonna type in steel. And this gives us all of our steel materials. So I'm just gonna select one of these materials over here. So for this project, we're gonna be using steel painted scrapped green. If I click this, hold down, and drag it into our folder, you can see that that's now applied to our crate. So I'm just gonna close this. So I actually wanna isolate this. So I actually wanna add a black mask to this folder so the material isn't gonna be applied to our hinge and our handles. We pretty much want it applied straight to our crate. So if I go over to the folder, Right click, add a black mask. You can see that it's disappeared now. If we go over here to the side, into our polygon fill, and if we press mesh fill, and make sure the slider's up to one, we can select this object. And you can see that it's selecting only our base crate and not our other objects. So we can use a black mask to isolate certain parts of the object and apply materials just to those areas. You can see the small preview window over here. This is essentially an image of our UV. So if I press F3, you can see that these areas of the crane are white and all of the other areas, they're all black because the material is not being applied to these areas. So the areas on our mask, which are black, the material isn't being applied to. And the areas that are white, the materials are being applied to those areas. Okay, so now the crate is finished. I wanna add another folder. So add another folder. I'm gonna call this front handle. And I'm gonna add materials to this front handle over here. So for these two side clips, I wanna add a steel material. So I just type in steel. I'm gonna use this basic steel material over here. Drag that into front handle. You can see that it's applied everywhere. This front handle folder, I wanna right click, add a black mask. So I'm still in polygon fill mode. I want to select fill mode, mesh fill, make sure this is white and all the way up to one. And I'm going to select this object over here. You can see that it's applied the steel material just to this object. I'm going to close this. I'm going to type in leather now, because I want to, I want a leather material on this front handle part. So for this object, I'm going to be choosing leather seat, old and dirty. Feel free to test out any other materials you want, but for this project, we're going to be using this one. I'm gonna drag this one into front handle. 
Now with this mask, this is the front handle, so this is going to be applied to both of these. So I'm going to select this one, make sure that the mask is selected. And with all of these same settings applied, I'm going to add the mask to this one here. This is where masks can get a bit confusing, but essentially this main folder, front handle, is controlling both of these. We can further isolate these with two more masks. So that way the steel is applied to this area and the leather seat is applied to this area. And so I'm going to click steel, right click, add a black mask, and I'm going to click on this area. So right now you can see the steel being applied just to this area. I'm going to click on this one, right click, add a black mask, and I'm going to click on this handle. So I've essentially got a mask within a mask. I'm going to close that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my base crate folder and I'm actually going to delete this material because that's actually the wrong one that I wanted. So I'm going to back, go back here, type in steel, and I actually want this steel painted chip dirty. Just going to drag that into my folder. It's already got the black mask applied, so this is going to work pretty much perfectly. So right now I'm essentially just creating folders and separating these objects out. We're going to be modifying these materials a little bit later, but now I just want to make sure that I separate these objects out and apply materials to them so we can change them later. So I'm going to add another folder. I'm going to call it latches. I'm going to call it latch. And for this object, it's pretty basic. So I'm just going to go to my basic materials over here. And I'm just going to add this steel painted material into this folder. You can see it's applied to everything. We want to add a block mask. Make sure we're in polygon fill and we have mesh fill. You can just select this and that's pretty much it for the latch. We want to create another folder. Call it side handle. And for this we're also just going to go back to smart materials and add steel. So type in steel going to use this basic steel material, drag it into side handle. So we want to go to side handle, right click, add black mask, and apply a black mask to these two objects. For this part of the handle, I'm probably going to use this material, but uh, for the time being, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to add another folder, call it hinges. I'm again just going to use the basic steel material, add that in there, and just make sure that I select the hinges folder, right click, add a black mask, and add a black mask to both of these objects over here. Okay, so it definitely doesn't look good at the moment, but in the next lesson we're going to be we're going to be modifying materials adding a few decals, some emissive materials as well, so stay tuned for that. Also, just in case, don't forget to save your work. Just go to File, Save As. I've already saved it, but you can just find a place and save it. In part 5 of the tutorial series, we can start modifying our materials, adding emissive materials, and also adding a decal to the model. So I'll see you guys then.